Hi, I'm with uh, Todd Store, Director of Athletics at the WKU, and Todd is just back from the Bahamas. We both lost our tan. <laughs> uh, we were over there and had a wonderful time. The kids were treated uh, just about as good as you could possibly be treated, and, and a, a bowl victory. So this program now, the football program at 8-5, and five, four consecutive winning seasons, being bowl eligible four consecutive years as well. Well, we're in a great spot, Randy, as you know, and, you know, I, I like to draw comparisons and I think back to you know the three-year period where we went four and 32 and we were in a, in a tough spot but now you fast forward four years later we're one of only 29 programs in the nation that's won seven or more games each of the last four years and like you said we won a bowl game that was a major step forward for our program we returned 15 starters next year so we're in a very good spot right now yeah the youngest team in Conference USA this past year now the bowl game a 42-14 <laughs> league going into the fourth some people were uh, driven to delirium. They thought they were going to have heart attacks because the Hilltoppers barely held on and won at 49-48, but a win nonetheless. What do you take away from that particular game? Well, I mean, the bottom line is we made more plays in Central Michigan and, and we won the game. I mean, certainly the fourth quarter and the last play has gotten a lot of attention, but you know, I grew up in Cincinnati and, you know, to me, uh, the singular play of the 1975 World Series was a Carlton Fisk home run that won game six, and, and you still see that highlight today. But if you go into the Cincinnati Reds offices, they've got the trophy. They came back and won game seven. And, and I guarantee you the Red Sox would trade Carlton Fist home run for the championship, just like Central Michigan would, would trade that final play. Now, that final play was a phenomenal play, and, and they had a, a great comeback. But ultimately, we made more plays than they did, and we won the game, and that's a huge step forward for our program. And I think a real credit to Jeff Brom, his staff, and our players because you know, we were 3-5 and five at one point during the year and, and, and got blown out by Louisiana Tech, and we were in a tough spot. And I'm not sure how many people still really believed in our football team, but our coaches kept coaching and our players kept working, and they turned it around, and now we go into the 2015 season with a five-game winning streak and our first ever bowl win. And uh, we're in basketball season now. The Lady Tops off to a brilliant start in non-conference play. Well, they really are. I mean, win 11-2 and two in non-conference play, and, and the two losses were to ranked teams, Mississippi State, you know, being, being one of them and obviously Louisville being the other one. And, and it's a terrific team. I hope more people come out and, and see this team play because if you haven't seen this team play, you are really missing out. It's an outstanding team. They average almost 90 points a game, uh, high character kids on the team, and uh, certainly I think poised to definitely make a run for our conference championship. Happy holidays, Todd. Thank you, Randy. Same to you. Director of Athletics, Todd Stewart. Now back to you at halftime now.